Hey YouTube, it's Manny. So, if you've ever been to my Twitch stream, you'll know that I display my PC prominently behind me as I'm streaming. Um, I, I went with a white case because I think white shows up better, but most of my parts are black. But So, uh, one of the things I want to start doing is slowly transitioning out the white uh, parts for, uh, I'm sorry, for black parts for white parts. Uh, but I don't feel like plant, uh, replacing my uh, power supply, my PSU. So, my thought is I'm going to put an LCD screen over this to, um, you know, display things like... Um, uh, uh, CPU, GPU, load, temps, things like that, or I can even put pictures of displays. I do have, as you can see, I have the NZXT uh, Z73 for the LCD as well, but it's just something else to hide uh, that. So what we're going to use is the ING Cool. This is a 7-inch display. It's got a capacitive touch, which I'm not going to use because it's going to be behind the glass. It's a 1024 by 600 resolution, and it has an HDMI output. Um, so... This is what we're going to use. I'll put a link to what I, this one that I bought in the description below. So you guys, if you want to do it yourself, you can also purchase the same one I got and you know get similar results. All right, so uh, let's first uh, unbox, and then we'll get into setting it up and all that stuff. All right, on to the video. All right, guys, so as far as the unboxing goes, I've actually had this for a while, and unfortunately, I've already unboxed it, and I've gotten rid of a lot of the stuff that was in there, all the packaging and stuff. So this is going to be more or less what actually comes in the box as opposed to uh, how it's actually set up and packaged. It's packaged fairly well. There's a lot of foam in it. So uh, the first thing you notice here is the, uh, the capacitive touch screen. It's 7, inch, seven inches, uh, 1024 by 600, I believe I said. Um, so that's that. We have the HDMI port uh, for the input, and then we have actually, um, there's a USB port, I believe that's actually, it says for touch, so it's probably for to, to enable the touch display, so that's what that is. So I don't know if we need, I don't think we need to set that up. Uh, it comes with a foldable stand, we're not going to use that because we're mounting it. And then it comes uh, also with, here's actually, uh, this is a USB cable for the, it comes with a micro USB for the touch, and then it also comes with uh, HDMI cable and then HDMI to mini converter now unfortunately for me I actually have no more HDMI slots on the back of my PC so I had to purchase a converter I purchased an HDMI to uh, display port converter uh, full-size display port not the mini display port uh, so I'm going to be using this I'll put a link to this in the description below as well if you're in the same boat as me because my GPU only has one HDMI port and I'm actually currently using that for a capture card all right so one thing I want to do first um, and you'll see I'll show you real quickly is I have a 3d printer and I'm going to print a case for you for this I will put um, where the case is it's a, it's a great case that prints out perfectly for it fits perfectly I'll put a link to um, the 3d models in the description below uh, for that. Alright guys, so uh, here are the two uh, printed pieces. This is obviously the face plate and this is the back plate. Uh, so we're going to take, we take our LCD and it's just going to fit basically, and you can see where the groove is, that's where um, the uh, other ports are going to stick out. So this just fits nicely in here. Uh, and you can see how nicely it fits. Like even without the, ba the, the, the back on, it fits nicely in there. Nice display for this. Perfect. Uh, so, and then this piece uh, fits over the back. And we just have to put a couple screws in, right? So that's really nice. Now, um, I did buy, I'll show you this. I'll also put a link to this in the description below. It takes uh, M3 times 8 millimeter screws, four of them in the corners. I did buy this, I'll put, like I said, I put a link in the description below. It was only a couple bucks, it's 500 pieces, obviously you only need the four screws, but I said, what the hell, it was just cheap enough to buy that. But before we screw this together, which we will, we do want to take the uh, film off the front of it. I haven't done this yet, as you can see, we can just peel it. Because I didn't want to ruin it. Now we can pop this back in here. Nice thing is it does have an offset, so it's not sitting on the ground. This in here. Can simply screw it together. Drop these in the corners.
Oh. They have it. It's mounted. A uh, little tough to get them in at first, the first time through, make sure you line up the holes. But there it is. All mounted up. Looks really nice. That, that looks professional. All right, guys. Now time to mount it on the PC. All right, guys. Now it's time to mount it. So we're going to mount it like this underneath. It's going to look really cool. Like, that looks so nice, right? So first thing we're going to do is actually plug it in, uh, or at least hang the cables. I did a test fitting. I am going to have to buy uh, different cables. They do work. They fit, but they stick out so far. They're real heavy duty. I'm going to probably buy a little thinner cables um, or something like that so that I can actually fit them. So first thing we do is I'm going to plug in the HDMI cable in the back um, and also, you know, the adapter. You also do need um, the USB cable plugged in. That is the power. It's not just the touch screen. So um, given the length I need, I actually have my own cable I have, and I'd probably replace this as well because this is too long, but just so that we can actually see it fit. Um, this case, The other USB cable is way too small um, to work in my situation because it's got to go from here all the way up to the top. So um, We will have some cables hanging for now, but we will fix that afterwards. So plug in the micro USB. All right, and I think that's in there. Yep, that's in there. All right. So now how we're going to get it to stick in there is we're going to use double-sided tape. Now I have this, this is Gorilla Tape, um, something I had for a while. I believe I bought this off of Amazon. I'll find a link if I can or something similar. I'll put it in the link in the description below for what I'm using. Basically, I'm just going to double-stick tape the back of it here. You, I could drill holes and put screws and all that other stuff, but I think the double-stick tape will be fine. This is not that heavy, and this is pretty heavy-duty uh, double-stick tape. You get a knife to cut it with. All right, so... All right, so we're just gonna stick it on the back. Two strips, one strip here. And then one strip right in front of the, uh, the ports. I would love to put it all the way to the other side. But given the fact that the ports are there, we can't do that. So as you can see how I did it, one strip here, one strip here. I would love to have the other strip here, but obviously the ports are going to be in the way. Um, how I figured out to mount it is the um, HDMI cable up top. I don't know if it recognizes where, the way it's tilted or not, but that's just how I plugged it in. It happened to be that way. So put the HDMI cable at the top, USB cable at the bottom. At least that's how it worked for me. So let's take off the double stick. And then we will stick it onto the PSU. That. A nice thing about this too, like when I said I'm going to get new cables, I can always just peel this off and put new double stick tape on uh, to replace the cables. Because I'm going to replace both these cables uh, with something smaller, thinner, thinner. Uh, this cable is nice and small, but I'm going to make something uh, a little shorter. And then this one, I want HDMI cable, it's a little thinner. I don't know if they make ribbon ones or not, but anyway, we're going to stick this up here. And I'm not going to put it flush against the top because it doesn't line up quite right. So we're just going to offset it just a little bit, like like so. Just give it a good push so that it actually kind of sticks. Just kind of like that. Oh, that should be good. And then we're going to run these cables up here. Over the top railing for mine. Now, it depends on the case you have. Um, this case is great. This is the P90. Uh, it works awesome. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to run the, uh, I'm going to plug the power supply cable in. As you can see, it's just going to hang pretty low down here. Uh, I can wrap it up nicer afterwards. We're going to plug this in here. And then we're going to take HDMI cable and plug it in to the top port. I'll give it a second to power on. All right, there it is powered on. It may kick on and off a couple times. We'll see. Yep. Give it a second, it may come back on. Hopefully it comes back on. I know this happened earlier for it to be uh, identified. But as you can see, it's sticking out way too far. I want something a little smaller. There it is. All right. So as you can see, it's just a regular uh, Windows. It's actually another desktop. Um, that's all it is. So let's go uh, down some, download some software and uh, set it up. All right. All right. So... Uh, as for software, originally I went and set up the panel using uh, a, a piece of software called Ada64. This is kind of like uh, the best system information tool that is out there right now. Uh, however, it does come with a price. 
uh, 60 bucks. It is lifetime. I think you get a one year where you can actually contact them and stuff like this. But you have, it does say that you get it for um, the latest version, so you can keep using it. However, like I said, it does a price. And I also, um, I did set it up to display system information, such as like GPU, um, you know, uh, usage, CPU usage, and temps. But given the lens on my camera, uh, for uh, streaming, it was just a little too blurry to see on the stream, so it wasn't really useful. It just you saw it like it was like you could see it was displaying something was it was blurry. So I decided to go a different route. So I uninstalled A to sixty four, and I went with a product called Rain Meter. Now I like Rain Meter because it's open source and it is free. It also had, um, it, it's similar to A to, uh, A to 64, but it requires a bit more setup and configuration, so it's not as easy to use. Um, I also decided to display sound, a sound visualizer, like bars that go up and down with the um, sounds on the screen, gunfire, me talking, things like that, instead of system information. The sound, vi the sound visualizer is easy to see in the background of my stream, even with it being slightly blurry, it adds a really cool effect. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna set this up. So let's go ahead and download the, uh, the latest version of a rain meter. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. So we will just go ahead and install. So we're gonna head on over to our download directory and download it. We're gonna install English, standard installation. We're just gonna do everything standard. We're not gonna do anything fancy and run it. All right, the first time you run it, you're gonna get these things. They're called skins. We're, de we're just gonna right click on all of them and say unload 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 now in here uh this is actually pretty good to see because um getting started manuals and forms so you want to learn more about rain meter this is the place to go um i'm just going to show you how i set everything up myself all right so we're going to unload this as well all right so now that that's all done right so let's open up our thing again we're going to actually download um a skin called fountain of color so let's go ahead and open that up uh, here is, like I said, the, the, I'm going to put all these links in the description below so you don't have to like memorize them. I'm not going to tell you what they are. They're in the description. You'll be able to download them. All right. So in here, I'm going to look at the assets. Now, RainMeter has these things called, uh, obviously, RM RainMeter skins. It is, uh, we're going to download this because it is what's going to, and I've already downloaded it to save myself some time. All right. Now that we have it downloaded, we're going to actually just double click it in our display and run it. So since you installed RainMeter, it knows how to install rm skin so it's associated with it. so we're just gonna hit install it's gonna run and install and we get this stuff all set up all right so let's minimize that and we have this little bar here so first thing we're gonna go is general i'm gonna change audio device and i believe i want to go speakers because what i want to do is i want to i want to actually show you my voice so as i talk you can actually see that um the bars are going up and down based on what i am saying all right, so I have, obviously I've installed this and set this up before, so I'm gonna go through real quick and change. Uh, you can move, the, I'll also move this in here. I'm gonna move this over to, uh, I wanna say I was like 589, 589, yep. Speakers, rotation, we're gonna go to visualizer. Uh, all this stuff, I, I believe I kept it about, I think I kept it all default, 10 pixels, 6, 80 bar count, 40 decibels, smoothing is five, uh, 2048. Styling, I'm gonna change the color, uh, but in a minute, um, so, well, we can change it now. We're just going to, I'm going to, oh, it crashed. Wait, what? What happened? So, all right. Also, so to, um, just in case like something like that happened and it closed on you to open this window up again, um, go to rain meter. You're going to go to fountain of colors. You're going to go into options and you're going to go visualizer and load. Just double click. It'll load it. Right. So styling, I want styling i want to click on this color there we go that's the color i want now it's hard to see here but that's okay so uh we're simply just going to close this um and all right so we're going to now move this over to our lcd uh, display and i will actually bring up a window so you guys can actually see um what it looks like that's actually the physical one i could display the window but i figured i'd show you this way so i'm going to just drag it over here and you can see it right there as I talk, you can see it bouncing up and down. However, you know, we still got the start window up top, uh, the start, I'm sorry, the task bar up top and stuff like this. We want to get rid of that and um, make it easy to see. So we're going to come back over here uh, and uh, let's see, we'll leave that up. All right, now to add a skin. So we're going to add a background skin. So we're going to hit create new skin, opens up this little skin template. We're going to add a folder to the skins directory. And we're going to call it background. 
hit enter and then uh, down here uh, at resources this is if you're going to have uh, any assets for your re uh, for your new skin such as video images or anything like that sounds or anything like that we're not going to we're simply going to hit add skin we're going to use this default template so in here we're going to rename it i clicked it too quickly background enter all right so now that we have that we're going to double click it and we have a uh, notepad window opens up the top part are some basic rain meter um settings update is how often rain meter will update the skin and this means and this is a middle milliseconds so this is every one second it will refresh the skin now uh accurate text i'm not really sure what this means you can look it up i just left it be metadata is always uh typically your information if you want to distribute the skin so that people know who you are all right so i am going to change this one small part of this uh, real simple. We're going to take this meter string and change it with a meter shape. So meter equals shape, and the shape is a rectangle. Now, the rest of this is, this is the X, Y coordinates where it's going to start. And then this is the width. The, sec the second one, this one is the width. And then this is the height. This is obviously the uh, resolution of my display, my uh, screen, my LCD. Uh, fill color is the next part because we want to actually make it a fill color. And uh, this is RGB, so it's 0, 0, 0. So red, green, blue, this all black. All right, so we're going to save this. Saved, close it. Now uh, we can close this window, and we've added the background. Now we can double click this, or we just hit this load button, and we have this black window. All right, so now that we have it here, we're going to actually just drag it all the way over and stick it in there. All right, so unfortunately, you can see we've actually uh, cannot see the visualization now. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually open up a fountain of colors, go down to fountain of colors, and here position, we have normal. And if you notice the background is also normal, right? So we're going to set this to topmost. And when we talk, there it is, all right? A couple other things we wanna do, uh, put on click through and draggable so that we can't move it any longer and do the same thing with the background. Click that draggable and click through. That means we come over here, we can't, we can't move it or mess around with it by accident. So it is going to stay there. And uh, that's really it for it, guys. All right, guys, just to show you what it looks like in game, um, I actually switched it over from being the uh, my microphone to the actual system sound. So this is actually all the game sounds are playing through it right now. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer it. And if you want to see more content like this, then smash the subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'd be happy to answer any questions live on stream. Until next time, YouTube, take it easy.